Are you ready for some action? We got the right place. Welcome to Little Pool on the Beach. I come here every night. Um, my name is Justin Ezell. I'm hanging out here at the beautiful Florida Pool on the Beach in St. Petersburg, Madeira Beach. Who put the rubber duck on top of the fountain? You know, what's the point? What does it squirt out of the nozzle right here and come dripping down the fountain? It's empty. There's no water in here. I've never seen birds or squirrels or anything take drinks out of there or do anything. No baths, so what's the point? And you got Buddha over here. I gotta take these nice shoes off when I walk on the beach. I take the socks off, but if you wash your feet at the beach, you just collect sand on your feet. It gets all around the showers over there. There's sand all over the ground, so I walked over here barefooted. You just press down on that water. Got the fucking vape pen and this is ridiculous. I can't stop vaping. Like a compulsive vape puffer, like seriously? And the guy over there, he keeps looking at me, he's like, you got staring problems? Seriously. So like and I styled my hair just a little bit freshened up, a little poof on top, and like this girl said, oh, you're cute. Well, I like your tattoos. I'm like, honey, you're barking up the wrong tree, okay? I like Bruce over there. Even though it's staring me, it's kind of weird, but whatever. I like my vape. Whatever. You know, let me tell you something, honey. Don't ever start vaping. This shit is so addictive. Oh, my God. It's like that perfect mixture between feet sweet and saltiness, it's the, what, the nicotine salts, well that's more addictive than regular cigarettes, like seriously, you know, you wouldn't see Marlon Brando or like Johnny Rebel back in the day, Cowboy Clyde, smoking on a vape, puffing on a vape, you know, but here we are, 2023, nobody smokes cigarettes anymore, we're all puffing on these fruity tootie things, so. What can you do? I just want to tell you something. I lost my vape today, and lo and behold, this bitch right here <laughs> happens to have it right there. Really, honey? Do you want to click heels with me, huh? Huh? I don't get it. Purple rain. I'm about to give this bitch a purple pain in a purge. Purple rain. Honey, you know how long I've been seeing you? How much you mean to me? You're here every night when I'm at Bula, when I'm down and out and broken hearted. I'd like to give you something, a token of my appreciation, a memento, if you will. Will you marry me? Please, please, please. Honey, you know how much I love you and how much you mean to me. You're always here for me at Bull on the Beach when I'm down and out and broken hearted. You're always somebody for me to talk to. You never make fun of me, you never put me down. And I just want to give you a token of my appreciation. Here you go. Would you be with me forever and ever? Don't be shy, baby. She don't love me no more. You like that? It's the sound of freedom. Are you ready for some action? We got the right place. Welcome to Pool on the Beach. I come here every night. We're all in a rat race in life. We're born into these, these families and these bodies and we go to school, we get our education, and then we have to get a job to survive until we eventually retire and then die. So what is the point of life while we're still alive? What do you think? So we're all, Everyone that's here on earth has chosen to come here from another dimension and all 8 billion plus souls in 2023 are here to manifest their purpose and survive because that's what we life as we know it we have to survive in order to continue living each day. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we don't have a choice. It's in our DNA. 
we're born into these bodies, we're trained by our parents, our, we become social with other humans, we try to self-actualize once we have our food, water, shelter. And we just try to survive until old age, retirement, and then we eventually die of an unknown cause. And throughout our entire lives, from birth to death, we experience these, or create rather, or manifest these experiences that teach us who we are, how to behave, what is socially correct, what is not. And we just fit in and, and deal with it. Do you have any thoughts on that? You dived in a pretty deep end with a lot of stuff as far as like the universe and how, us coming here and how many lives there were before that. But I'm not gonna dive into that. But um, as far as uh, our purpose, yeah, I believe there's a God and a creator and there is some sort of purpose to this. It's beyond our comprehension. I follow the different faiths and religions. So I think the crisis right now, with a lot of young males, you know, especially us as veterans, you, you, you spent 10 years in the military, you busted your ass to get a bachelor's degree, and that wasn't easy for me. I, had, I struggled just to pass through high school, you know. I, I dropped out of college a couple times while finishing up my degree. I finished off a bachelor's degree in health and wellness by the grace of God, working 11 to 15 page essays, you know, and it's like, you get this degree and you get out and it's hard as hell to get a job. And you get very disfranchised, so you work these hard working class jobs, you know what I mean? And you just feel like, well, when you're a male and you don't have a family, in a big crisis, we don't have families to come home to. We don't have children who are coming home to like empty households. And it's like, why am I doing this all day? Like, what's the point, you know what I mean? And you find your religious faith and whatever faith you follow, it's to live is to suffer. I think there's a lot of jobs that are used to society, like TikTokers or strippers or like, you know, um, OnlyFans and just, just some nauseous people that are just there just to brag about money and everything like that and how to get rich quick. And it's all about like ourselves and consumerism, you know what I mean? Rather than uh, a community. I just think we're all pretty very very lost i want to say pretty lost very lost i think it's more of a dying before you actually die is like an epidemic more so than a suicide because i mean people are just walking around and kind of haunted souls just trudging their feet through life and they're have no real purpose anymore the sexes have been turned against each other you know whether you want to call it toxic feminism toxic masculinity we've been orchestrated to be against each other you know and um i can't blame everything all on feminism because a lot of the guys were groomed us to be hookup culture douchebags you know we're supposed to look up to people like hugh hefner is like teenagers going off they go oh, he's cool dan bilzerians and even like andrew tate does have some base squared away stuff but i mean you still get him around these skinned and clad half nude women you know what i mean it's just like overindulgence it's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship what's the it's um Pornification, you know, fornication. You can be a plumber to say what the 90s you ever go to a bar and talk to a woman and whatever she'd be fine with that, and you can probably build a relationship off of that. Nowadays, it's like a big competitive rat race. All these women are extremely overqualified. You got bachelor's degrees and up. Some of them have PhDs. You go on Bumble like so many PhDs, graduate degrees. Like, you feel like emasculated in a way. I'm not trying to sound all insecure, but it's just like, and they they put on this combative like masculine persona of being hyper aggressive climbing the corporate ladder they've been sold on if they're not doing that they're somehow married if the boss says jump they say how high they get a raise you know and uh, it just becomes very selfish instead of serving each other's me before uh, my job relationship comes first the woman comes first you know if anything my job my job is there to support that relationship even through my military i was still it even affected me because i always put our relationships first and where I see a lot of women, they're so riveted down to their careers. They'll break up relationships just to go to college and move away. You know, it's just like, you know, I'm more of an old school romantic at heart, you know. But being a romantic nowadays, it, it, you're just looked at as like needy or like simping for somebody, you know. But I'm a gentleman. I try my best. And if I get rejected, like, I'm done. I'm walking away with it. I gave you my chance. And they realize, they'll probably realize things come to fruition. Like, well, I was a good guy in a lot of ways, you know, but, um, this is what it is, I think, uh, and, and you see, like, a lot of marriages now, they don't last any longer than, like, two or four years. I think a lot of it, too, everybody's become very nihilistic. It's a loss of purpose. 
in Islam, they, they believe we're here to serve God and, and pray to God, and, and we're ultimately all slaves for Him. You know, they pray five times a day. I really admire that. There's certain things that, like, I question or I'm frustrated or in confusion about. But um, that's the one most simplified religion that I've studied. You know, well, if you like my content or anything I have to say, feel free to click and subscribe. I've just gathered a lot of wisdom over the years. I apply that to my character. And no matter what happens, keep your head up. You know, life is, and if your life is smooth and peachy and clean right now, you know, shit will happen. It's not if shit will happen, it's when the next hurricane hits your life. You know, any, anybody, they're all gonna experience deaths. They're all gonna experience pains and hardships and life is gonna hit you, you know? And then when you're stripped of everything, you know, when you're on your deathbed and you don't have nothing, you're fighting just to hold your bowels or just for your sight or your, your mental health of losing your mind for, from dementia. If you, God grant you life that long, you, you got to have something more than this world, metaphysical world and that's uh you know i think we, we we lose sight of that with all the consumerism and selfishness and lose sight of having families i think god and family are very important you know and god is the glue that keeps a family together you know we're here to serve each other not just be obsessed over accomplishments achievements titles and fucking plaques to put on the wall you know it's it's, it's become a very arrogant narcissistic um, society.